Hey, how are you doing? I wanted to go over this week's module activities with you. So I'm in your Canvas homepage and I'm just going to click on modules. And we are actually in module three now, which is economic challenges facing contemporary business. This is the only uh, module and chapter because module three also goes with chapter three in the textbook. But this is the only module and chapter that looks at economics really strongly. So in this intro to business class, we do go over a lot of different areas of business and, and different business disciplines to include accounting, finance, uh, human resources, leadership, entrepreneurship, um, economics, marketing, management, and this is the module on economics. So let's look here at the learning objectives. We're going to discuss microeconomics um, as well as demand and supply or more commonly referred to as supply and demand. We're going to describe macroeconomics and um, identify how to evaluate economic performance, managing the economy's performance, and then global economic challenges. This is real important because it helps you to understand how a nation or a country or an economic system, just say in the United States, for example, how we measure, how politicians or city mayors or governors, senators, house of representatives, um, even bankers, how do an econo economist, of, of course, economists, how they measure how well the, the economy is doing. So you have those elements going on in this module. Microeconomics looks at things from an individual level or a family or household level, for example, and in individual businesses on what they're spending money on, consumer behavior. Macroeconomics looks at issues like in the entire country. So how much unemployment do we have going on? What is our gross domestic um, product information? How much goods and services are we selling or producing each year? So it looks at all of these different indicators, economic indicators, to gauge how well the economy in the U.S., for example, is doing. Uh, we also look at some challenges that's in economic challenges, so global economic challenges. For example, some countries in the world, their infrastructure isn't as modern and, and as good as the U.S., for example. So their roadways or their trailways or their airline industry is not as good. The... Um, the money, the salaries or the wages that people make in some countries are really, really low. Some people only make like $2,000 a year. I mean, that's the per capita income in some underdeveloped countries. We also have global economic challenges that are associated with uh, supplies like water supply, energy supply. And so these are some things that are going on globally that businesses are encountering and it can affect their business operations as well okay let's see here let's look at the presentations you have available for this module you have the audio presentation keep in mind this is for the 16th edition the PowerPoint presentation is for the 17th edition of the textbook material and then the Prezi presentation is the presentation that I typically use in my face-to-face -face intro to business in the economy course so you have a variety of presentations here, and um, the 16th and the 17th edition are very similar, so I uh, just wanted to make sure you're aware of that. Definitely you want to be reading and studying your chapter. If you have access to the ebook with the Wiley Plus card, the ebook is in that um, platform. And you have some supplemental resources here that go along with the uh, learning objectives. So like, for example, performance uh, indicators, you have some things here that will explain that more in depth. You know, inflation, um, unemployment, which I mentioned. So be sure you take the time to look at some of these resources that I found with for you that go and align directly with the module and the chapter learning objectives. 
Okay, so what are you going to be doing this week? Um, let's look at it. we got a discussion forum and a Chapter 3 quiz. Both are due Sunday, February 18th at 11.59 p.m. For this week's discussion forum that we're all going to be interacting in, don't forget to look at your rubric, and don't forget that 25% of your grade, oops, let me brighten the screen here, is a reply to a classmate's post. So I want you to get engaged in the discussion, and I get on the discussion boards too. Um, and then definitely you want to be expressing yourself in a professional manner, clearly using the correct vocabulary and grammar, and then to cite all sources used to help develop your analysis. But let's look at this discussion forum. I want you to, number one, explain which economic system that you prefer and why. So definitely the chapter readings will help you with this. Supplemental resources that I've posted will help you too. Um, and of course, you know, you can definitely do your own outside research to develop your analysis. Just be sure you cite that website, that blog, or that journal article, that book, or that interview. Be sure you cite that. Explain which types of unemployment have you experienced thus far in your career, as well as what are some strategies that you have in place to ensure your continued employment within an organization. Give an example of a country that is facing particular global economic challenges and explain what that country is going through. So, I mean, this looks at more... Looks at microeconomics and macro, actually. But um, here you can see how this discussion forum is aligned with the learning objectives. And so I want you to focus on that, um, the economic system in which you prefer. So you'll need to do some research on the different varieties of economic systems. And that's uh, based on your chapter readings. You can also find that information. And then we we'll talk a little bit about unemployment, and this is kind of a, a career initiative in number two, because I want you to start thinking about ways to make yourself um, a stronger employee, a stronger competitor out in the mar out in the career world. So things that you can do to keep yourself employed. I mean, that's important. And then hone in on a particular country. This is more of a macro economics view that is facing global economic challenges or a global economic challenge and explain that. And um, so I look forward to getting on the discussion forum with you this week. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me and don't forget to do your chapter three quiz as well. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.